Um, hello there, my name is Mrs Moores and I'm one of the geography teachers at Great Torrington School. So I'm just going to talk to you about the Key Stage 3 curriculum that we offer at Great Torrington. So in Year 7 it's a fantastic introduction to be a geographer at Great Torrington where we look at lots of global issues and we learn lots of skills. So we look at uh, the problem with plastic, plastic pollution, we go into deforestation, the issues of local people that live in, in Brazil for example. We also look at climate change. Uh, when it comes into year eight, we learn about reading maps uh, competently and we do lots of skills within that area. We also look to the wider world and we do urban issues where we'll, we'll go to uh, Brazil and we'll look at problems of living in Rio and <clears throat> creative solutions of living in an urban environment. So we'll look at rivers as well. And then into year nine, that's when we get our teeth into more physical geography. We'll look at natural hazards that occur around the world and then we'll begin to look at the living biome. So we'll look at uh, the Mediterranean climate and the climate that we live in and what influences that. Then towards the summer term, that's when we start to look at coast and we're fortunate enough to live by uh, the coast here in North Devon. And we'll hopefully have a field trip out to Westwood Ho where we collect some data and uh, create a presentation from that. Hello, my name is Miss Anstey and I'm a teacher of geography at Great Torrington School. I'm going to talk to you about Key Stage 4. At Key Stage 4 we follow the AQA uh, GCSE syllabus and we build on the skills and foundations that we have started in years 7, 8 and 9. So we go through a lot of the topics again but in more detail and we look at specific countries and specific cases uh, case studies. So for example we'll look at the earthquake in Nepal, uh, we'll look at Typhoon Haiyan uh, in Haiti and then we start looking in much more detail about human geography and population, uh, the, what, how we're going to resource the country, uh, the world in terms of food, energy, water, how we're going to help countries develop even further. And then we'd start looking at some field work. So hopefully we'll go to Plymouth for our field study uh, to look at how Plymouth has been regenerated.